but there will be such a roar here if Svoboda can get amongst the medals or indeed take the title. The lineup again from the inside. In two is Briar of Great Britain. In Tiro Bong of Nigeria in three. Candice Hill of USA in four. Watch her. Khalifa St. Fort goes in five for Trinidad and Tobago. Svoboda in six for Poland. Lanziquot, Great Britain, seven. Rivera, Colombia, eight. Jassim Bahrain nearest the camera in lane nine. Well, St. Fort keeps very low indeed. Svoboda quits leading at the moment, but going well at the moment is Candice Hill. Candice Hill and Svoboda battling at the moment. Hill's going to take it. Svoboda second, St. Fort third there. That's the one, two, three. And the championship record has gone again. 11 0 8 with a marginal following win, plus 0.9. There was no denying Candice Hill there. A championship record at 11 12 in a semi final. That with a maximum legal lead uh, wind behind her. But there, 11.07, Martin. That is the quickest time in the world this year. And indeed, it puts an eight on the all-time world under 20 rankings. There was absolutely no denying the American there. What a session they've had. Their third gold of the session for the USA. Svoboda did everything that could have been asked of her, but it wasn't quite enough on the night. Yes, 11.07 puts her alongside an Olympic gold medalist, Bianca Knight, who picked up a relay gold in 2012. Inevitable, there was a lot of attention on the Polish girl, Eva Svoboda, carrying the hopes of the host nation, but Candice Hill came into this final as the outstanding favourite, and uh, well, she's almost romping down that home straight. Svoboda... Decent run, very good run there in fourth place by Imani Lara Lansiquo there of Great Britain. Quite a long way behind the winner, but she did come through in fourth place, so that's an outstanding achievement there by the Britain. But uh, Candace Hill, yes, yeah, she uh, removes the name of Veronica Campbell-Brown, two-time winner of the Olympic 200-metre title and a former world 100-metre champion as the holder of the championship record. So I think it's fair to say that this young lady, Candace Hill, who we have seen before at this level, could well go on to be a big name in global sprinting. That's the sixth time the USA have taken gold in this discipline. They've had to wait a little while. Jenna Batamo, back in 2008, taking gold in front of uh, Ashley Nelson of Great Britain. American champions Ashley Owens, whatever happened to her back in 2004. Lauren Williams in 2002. Shakedia Jones in 1998. I'm not sure I remember that name too much at senior level. Sabrina Kelly, likewise, won in 94 for the USA. Isn't it amazing the number of youngsters who uh, reach the highest heights in their age categories, as does Candice Hill today, 11.07 from Savoda at St. Fort, but who don't make it through as seniors. And it's interesting you mentioned the last time there was an American winner in 2008 when those championships were held on this track, or at least in this stadium. I think the, uh, the track has been redone since then, but there we have another American winner of a sprint title. And uh, take a look at the face and make a note of the name, because I suspect they will both crop up again 